Hey y'all, it's Amanda. Welcome back to the channel and today we're going to start a weekly reading vlog. y'all so we're gonna put you right here for just a minute honey it is tuesday morning your girl's getting ready to go to work and i have a lot of things to chat about so i thought what better way than to start a weekly vlog that's going to come out saturday okay so first and foremost thank you so much for your prayers for this medical procedure that i was having yesterday and if you don't want to hear about health stuff you feel free to skip. I'll have timestamps, okay? But real life around here, we talking about the health stuff, okay? I've been pretty transparent about my stomach issues that I've been having on the channel. And a lot of y'all were like, thank you for talking about this. I have the same type of thing, all this stuff. So people don't talk about it enough, <laughs> okay? So for context, I'm 34 years old. I've been having a lot of stomach issues for like at least a couple of years. And I've just kind of brushed it off like, oh, you know, this is just probably what I'm eating, whatever. And it still could be, it still could be but I've never talked to a doctor about it. And so therefore all of the doctor visits and everything and the issues I've been having had led to this procedure. So I ended up getting a colonoscopy and I'm so glad that I did because I have peace of mind that it's not something crazy that's going on with me. It's not colon cancer or something because you know, colon cancer is on the rise in young adults and I've had ovarian cancer in the past. So don't y'all think that wasn't in the back of my mind, but the Lord's still good. He's taking care of us no matter what. Right. But it was in my mind. It was in my mind. And you know, don't be Googling stuff. You'll think you got it in like five seconds. <laughs> okay. But I was like, what is this? Is this like Crohn's? Is it ulcerative colitis? What am I, what is going on? And so ended up having the colonoscopy. And honestly, if you've never had one, I'm gonna tell you right now, the prep is the worst part. Just like everybody always says, you know, drinking those drinks is just not, it's not fun. I didn't even think I could get it all down. <laughs> the drinks that drinking the drinks was worse than the aftermath to me because I, I'm like, I can't hardly drink this, <laughs> but ended up, it was fine drank it six, at like four o'clock and then I had to do another one at 2 a.m. So I didn't hardly get any sleep. And then, you know, all the after effects done. <laughs> okay, TMI. Um, and then the next morning we did, of course, the procedure. And the procedure itself is like 30 minutes. I was like, what? <laughs> so uh, I couldn't believe how quickly it was. I was like, oh, we're done? <laughs> so yeah, but it, in, the, in the process of this, they say what they call diverticulosis. And that is not the same as diverticulitis, okay? Diverticulosis is like the start of what could become diverticulitis. And he said anything that has itis in it is infection. And so there's no infection, all that stuff. So just some, you know, knowledge for your brain. I didn't know that either. <laughs> and so basically what he said is, you know, probably need a little more fiber in the diet, which I'm like, I didn't think he was going to say that. Um, but he did do some biopsies as well to send off. So hopefully that will come back in the next week and we'll know a little bit more. Talk to my doctor. Maybe I need to do some different, um, you know, just try out different diets and things. Also, colonoscopy doesn't always tell you exactly what's wrong, but it does eliminate certain things like Crohn's, ulcerative colitis, and other, other things like colon cancer, of course. And so thankfully that all looked good. Don't have to go back to 45. Now, if you didn't know, insurance is here in the US anyway, now have the screening for a colonoscopy, colon cancer screening uh, at 45. It used to be 50, just because of the rise in young adults, which of course it's what we eat. You know, I mean, you all know what we eat here is bad. So all the stuff in our foods. But I'm just really thankful that everything went well. The Lord, he took care of me through it. I was stressed about it, but it really, I highly recommend if you've never had one, because my mom, I need her to get one. I'm like, mommy 58. Come on, go. <laughs> She's never had one. My dad's had one, but he needs to go back for his checkup. Um, because like it's, it, there's just, it's not that bad. <laughs> it's really not that, that bad. The worst part is of course the prep, but you know, I just want to encourage you that if you're scared about it, it's okay. Um, it, it's really quick and the after parts, you just can't drive and you feel fine afterwards. Um, so yeah, I was okay. And I just want to say that because I don't want anybody to feel like that it's like this big bad thing <laughs> when honestly it really wasn't that bad. So that's the health updates. You know, I'm going to try to eat a little bit better, of course, which I need to eat better anyway, but you know, it's just one of those things. Like, I mean, I don't know if I was, I'm trying to develop any kind of gluten issues too. Could be who knows at this point. So 
I'm just like gonna talk to the doctor in the next month. I need to go back and see her, his nurse practitioner, and not talk to her and just see kind of what they recommend based on the biopsies and things that he did and other fat findings and whatnot. But um once you have diverticulosis, he said like it never goes away. And basically what that is is like little pockets in your colon that could become infected later on and could cause you issues. So yeah. Um anyway. <laughs> Now that we talked about all the fun stuff, let's talk about reading, okay? I'm about to pull out of here so I can go to work, and we're going to talk about all the good things, okay? So, your girl has been reading. I've been reading. I've been reading. Um, actually, first, let me just say, I should have said this. I'm, I'm, I'm all over the place. I should have said, again, I really appreciate y'all checking in and praying and stuff uh, for my nerves and the, for the procedure to go well because stuff like that, you know, it just, it just, uh, it, it, it gets on it gets like in your head you know because stuff like that you know it's like just stress and you never know what's going to happen and come of it but you know again the, the lord is good no matter what so i'm just really thankful for all of you who checked in and said hey thinking i'm praying about you really appreciate that so okay right, now let's talk about, let's talk about the books I, I know i said that but i really wanted to just reiterate that because i really do appreciate it and if you ever need prayer let me know i've been keeping a little notebook okay of things that I'm praying for and people I'm praying for and everything. So let's talk about books and stuff. Um, yeah, your girl's been reading, like I said. And so I am currently reading this book. It's called The Summer of Keeping Secrets by Jill Lynn. It's on my Kindle, okay? I will put the cover on the screen, even though I just showed you on my Kindle, but uh, I don't wanna hold my Kindle, okay, <laughs> while I'm driving. But yeah, so I'm really enjoying this. I'm 75% in. This is an arc that she reached out and asked me to read, honestly, reading review. And she is an indie author, and it's like a clean women's contemporary romantic fiction, I guess, the way she worded it. I'm pretty sure. Uh, there's a little bit of romance in it, so yeah, I would say so. Um, but mostly this is more contemporary than contemporary romance for me, uh, which I'm enjoying the story. Um, this has surprised me. I am really, really enjoying the story and this family element. Like, there is so much family drama going on in this, honey. Sorry, this son coming in. It ain't doing too good. <laughs> Maybe I need to wait till we get down here. So, oh no. Okay, I think we're at a better place so I can talk about this book <laughs> without getting all that sun coming in uh, looking crazy. But yeah, so this book, I'm really enjoying it. I feel like it's a great family story. There's, of course, a lot of family secrets, right? The Summer of Keeping Secrets, okay? Just like it says in the title. And so, first and foremost, we have this mom, Marin. I think it's how you say it, Marin or Marin. Okay, I don't know. I, I can't pronounce names. But anyway, her name is M-A-R-I-N. So, but it's Marin because they say Mar. Mare. <laughs> you know me. I can't say names. I'll try to find out. But anyway, we got this mom and she has two children and I think they're in their 30s and um, this mom has been going through a lot of grief. Okay. She has lost her spouse and her parents in the span of four years. And so it's just, she's just trying to process through this grief. You know, I've highlighted several quotes in this and in my Kindle version, but like, honestly, this has been very impactful so far just from the grief side you know she is trying to process through it and she right, right now she's gone back home to her her parents house and she's having to clean out everything after her dad has, has passed away okay her mom passed away four years ago spouse and her dad passed away within i think was it a year maybe two i can't remember exactly i want to say it was within a year of each other um but like, i can't remember the timeline but within the last four years like i said she's lost those people and so she's out there cleaning out her parents house and she her her children come to help and so she's kind of harboring some secrets as well that i still don't know yet even at 75 percent i'm like wait what's happening what's her secret okay need to know then we have her children uh slade they call her slade <laughs> i love the names um and um oh reed <laughs> i was like what's his name reed and um that's her brother and so Reed, at the very beginning of the story, you know that he's keeping kind of like a secret about his his difficult struggles with his marriage, and you you know that they're going through some. Okay, there goes that phone. You know that they're going through some really hard times. Uh, him and him and his wife, went, Lindsay, you know, um, they're they're separated. Possible divorce could happen. All these things. So he hasn't really told his family about this. But that's what he's keeping. Slade is keeping this inside about this sexual assault that happened at her job and she reported to HR they don't think anything's gonna happen this man's been crazy and everything 
uh, from the very beginning. And so that's what that's what they're harboring and keeping with the end that they're not telling the family. And I still don't really know what the mom is her secret is yet. So yeah, you learn about the sibling secrets very quickly. So I felt like I could tell you that. That's a big part of the story. Um, and so they're just, those those siblings are trying to process through all of those things, of course, and while helping their mother clean out their grandparents' home. And so Slade, in the middle of all this, finds an article where this man passed away and was killed, like on the, their grandparents' property in 1990. She's like, what? How come we don't know about this? So there's a mystery of that as well. So I really like it. I will say the only thing I'm not a fan of in this is there's a lot of yoga stuff, but like honestly, secular clean book. So I don't feel like I can take off really for it. It's just something I don't personally like in books. So I want to mention that because I know we've talked about that here on the channel before too. So just mentioning that but it's not a christian book or anything like that the author is a christian herself but it's not a christian novel so i'm not going to take off for that and it's like mentioned really like you know like more talking about the stretches and not really talking about spirituality with it so i'm gonna move on from it but i just want to mention that anyway um but i'm still i'm really enjoying the story it's probably gonna be like a four star for me i i love the the way i'm so connected to it i really enjoy just like the background of this family it's very layered and trying to figure out what's going on and then we kind of have like a little bit of a romance tied in as well we have the uh Mom, Marin, I don't know how you say her name, but the mom. So she um, has this man that comes over to try to help her with the house, and his name's Garrett. And she's like, uh oh, Garrett's back. And it's her first kiss from high school. So they have a past together, and we're trying to figure out exactly what happened with them as well. And so I'm, I'm guessing that will kind of be like a second hint at love for, with her as well. And then Slade has like a little bit of a romance with Garrett's son. <laughs> so there's all kinds of stuff happening, okay? Then, of course, we see Reed trying to work through all of his stuff with his wife, okay? So that's the story. I'm really enjoying it. I can't wait to kind of see how it ends. I think it's a really great contemporary story with a little bit of romance and stuff in it, but it's just, it's, it's good. And I'm very impressed with this author. So yeah, I'm really thankful she asked me to read and review it and it comes out in June. So I will leave it down below if you want to check it out. Other than that, the other book I'm currently reading, which I'm listening to on audio is The Only Exception by Mandy Blake. This is book three in the Wolf Creek Ranch series. Okay. It is like a cowboy Christian romance. Okay. Really enjoying that. I feel like uh, it's probably a bit four star. It's not my favorite, but I'm still really enjoying it. Um, this is like all surrounding like stuff. This is crazy, okay? Like the tea from this is crazy as well. So I'm really excited to talk about books, as you can tell. <laughs> but in this book, we are kind of following up with some characters from book two. And in book two, which is almost everything by Mandy Blake, we had this girl, Everly and Blake. And Blake was like her best friend and stuff, childhood crush kind of thing. He's always loved her, that kind of stuff. And then she was, she, not her childhood crush, his childhood crush, <laughs> okay? And so she was engaged to this guy, David, who was just a really bad guy and stuff. So yeah, he was abusive and all these things. And so the events happen with David keep trying to pursue her, even though she broke up with him from the very beginning of the book and said, look, I'm not gonna be with you because he cheated on her. That's how the book setup was, okay? And then by the end of it, you know, like, he's just, like, this really bad guy, and he's still trying to pursue her, and her brother, Ridge, has to be like, look, bro, you're gonna have to go off. <laughs> and so, they get an altercation and all this stuff, and so now we're in book three, and in book three, there's this girl, Cheyenne, okay? Cheyenne is looking for a job. She lives in, in Tennessee, and her mom is going through some health issues and needs this facility for her uh, I think it's physical therapy, I want to say, but she doesn't have the money to keep her there. And so she's struggling and worried about how she's going to afford for her mother's health to continue to be at this facility or to have to be in a new facility, whatever she needs, right? And so she applies for this job and this guy, of course, it's David. I was like, David, bro, what are you doing? <laughs> like, you back again. And at first I was like, wait, wait, I had to message Mandy. I said, is this the same David from book two? because this is crazy. And she's like, yeah, it is. And so, yeah, we got David, he back, and I am literally like, oh my goodness. So he propositions her. He says, look, this job you applied for, you know, it's 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 filled, but I have another thing for you. And she's like, what's up? <laughs> she's like, okay, wait, what you got? And so he says, I need you to spy on this guy, Ridge Cooper. And I was like, oh my gosh, no. <laughs> 
So she goes to Wild. I said, Wyoming? Is that where Wolf Creek Ranch even is? My brain is, for, is forgetting. But she goes to Wolf Creek Ranch, okay? And she's starting to spy on Ridge. Now, I don't love the lying about it. I don't love her, like, him not knowing that she's spying on Ridge, okay? The guy said he'd give her 50 grand a month. Look here. Of course, she gonna go. <laughs> she don't know nothing about Ridge. The media has portrayed Ridge to be this awful guy. He was used to be an a, a American football player. And, you know, her dad actually was an American football player, too. And left them whenever she was young. So she has this bad persona all about Ridge tied in a little bit from her dad when he's done and tied in, <laughs> tied in with, you know, the stuff people have said about him and the way David portrayed him and lied about all this stuff. So he's like mad that like Ridge's business and what he's trying to do is encroaching in on what David's doing, okay? So he's like, look, I need you to go spy on him and tell me everything you know about him and, and just get all the dirt. And so really, when she gets there, she's like, there's no dirt because he's just such a great guy. And so she's starting to really like him. And I'm halfway through the book and I'm like, oh no, what is gonna happen? Because we're probably gonna have like them really getting to like each other and know each other. And then there's probably gonna be like a third act breakup, I'm sure, when he finds out that she's been there to spy from David, who was terrible to his sister. There's the tea. And I'm just like, oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Mandy has done such a great job in weaving this in. You know, like I said, it's not going to be probably like a five-star favorite, but it's still like a four-star, really enjoying it. Still love the characters from them too, and getting to see her know him and realize like, oh my gosh, what have I done? And, you know, she's supposed to report on things, and she's like, oh no, she's starting to realize who David was to them, and it's just like, uh-oh. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I think it's, it's it's still a really great story, you know. Um, just the way she writes it, it makes me want to keep reading. Uh, which I'm listening to the audiobook of it just because I needed audio. So, yeah, I'm physically reading Jill Lynn's book and then listening to the audio of Mandy's. So, this has been a pretty lengthy update. So, I had a lot to chat about this morning. I was like, I really need to do an update. Yeah, this weekend, we're actually, I'm so excited. The day you're watching this is the day me and Blake are going to have, like, a date day. Okay, we're going to go to Knoxville and watch... Uh, the Fellowship of the Ring in theaters and we're really excited about that. So we will be vlogging that as well So that will come next week. So I hope that you enjoy that whenever it comes out But uh, yeah, they have the Fellowship Two Towers and Return of the King this weekend um, and, But we're only gonna go see Fellowship the extended edition of course is what they are But we're only gonna see Fellowship just because the other ones are like really late at night and we're not able to go and um in every every day <laughs> but i'm just happy to go see one which book which book movie number one is like my favorite anyway so yeah uh i like I, i'll say it. return of the king i would love to see that but it's like 7 30 at night on monday your girl can't go see that <laughs> so yeah but i hope that y'all have had a great week i hope it's been a wonderful start to june we are having a great reading week i'm so excited i did i have been reading in my bible as well i've have forgotten to tell you all what i'm reading in my bible but i read a lot of revelation this last week so trying to kind of process through that and figure out you know uh, some more uh, details about revelation i feel like i need to research a little more maybe get some commentaries um really enjoyed reading through it the first time ever uh and, but there's a lot to unpack right and so i'm going to um you know, probably go read some commentaries and things like that. That's kind of what I've been doing in my Bible reading. Um, I've been keeping a prayer book as well. That was one of my goals this year is trying to keep a prayer book and write things down um, because, you know, it's like there's so much in my mind that I want to get out that I want to pray for. So I've been able to do that a little bit. Um, I did go get my hair cut and done as well <laughs> this last weekend. So uh, some of y'all noticed in the last video I did. So thank you for that. Yeah, but that's funny for me. I will update you guys when I have more reading and stuff, but I'm just, gonna, I just want to kind of do like a little chit chat, drive with me, talking about what I'm reading. Uh, after I finish these two books, I think I'm going to get into Savannah Scott's next book in the series, the Love Trippin' series, uh, just so I can kind of prepare myself uh, for book four that's coming out. There is a cover reveal coming this week, so I'm going to work on a graphic for that as well, um, and I'll show y'all probably in this vlog later whenever we get that, of course, um, for her book four. So, yeah. Uh, in this series. I'm really excited about it. And I'm just in a summer reading mood, you know, like I need to still do my summer book recommendations. I did a reel on Instagram and a lot of y'all saw that, uh, but I need to do like a summer book rec video, summer TBR, that kind of stuff. But I haven't had time to really sit down and get my bearings about me to figure out what I'm going to say on that. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for me. And I will be back with some reading updates. Okay. Good morning. Good morning, my friends.
It is Wednesday. <laughs> I'm not a baby for nothing. Okay. So, I have got some updates. So, <clears throat> good morning, my friends. It is Wednesday, and we have some updates. Okay. So, your girl finished this book last night. The only exception by Mandy Blake. I'm going to give it four stars. Cheese level. Almost block. I guess it kind of is block cheese, but I still really enjoyed it. Mandy Blake has a good way of writing these characters that you just really care for and just like a really feel good story. So yeah, heartwarming, sweet, all the things. Now, it wasn't a favorite just because of her deception, but I really liked how it was handled. I really liked how it was handled. Um, the third act breakup really wasn't like a third act breakup. It was a little insta lovey as well. So there's the block cheese. <laughs> But I still loved it. I really think that if you're looking for like a feel good story, this whole series, like if you want like a cute romance, nice little faith content, you know, just that feel good story. And it's going to be like Hallmark cheese, which is fine. Yes. So um, I think out of the series so far from book one, two, and three, book one is Truth is a Whisper. Book two is almost everything. Book three is the only exception. And there's six books in the series. And there's actually a, like a prequel series, I think, that kind of leads into this. I need to kind of backtrack, but neither here nor there. Uh, I think out of my, out of the three, I mean, that I've read, I think book two is my favorite because it's the one that's not insta love. <laughs> okay. I still really enjoyed book one, but it was more insta love, you know, and I'm not necessarily an insta love person, but I, but maybe Blake, I will tell you, her writing can make me still love the story no matter what kind of insta love it is. It's something about it. Like, it doesn't feel too insta lovey, you know? Um, so, yeah. Because I guess the characters go through so much that, like, you feel like they've been together longer than they really have. I don't know. There's a whole thing with that. But, yeah, I really enjoyed this. Four stars. And uh, the ending was like, what? <laughs> Look here. David was like, bro, you need to get out. <laughs> I was like, David bro let it go <laughs> so yeah look here david was like bro you need to get out <laughs> i was like david bro let it go <laughs> so yeah and i really liked like how everything just came to fruition in the end i did i did i did and so the guy in this ridge was just the best guy i, I always love the guy characters that she creates i wasn't as connected with the girl i think because she was like starting off with this whole deceptive thing of like she's supposed to be spying on ridge but you know honestly like what she was going through she didn't have any idea about this with ridge until she gets there and she starts to know him and she immediately like stops cashing the checks and like all this stuff so like it's understandable what she was doing she was like how am i gonna tell him and it kind of went on a little bit longer than i wanted but still i'm okay with it i still really enjoyed the book and i still recommend all mandy blake's books i'm sorry I like i just like the fifth one i read by her come on yes <laughs> so yeah it was cute and uh looking forward to the next one looking forward to the next one so yeah i'm really enjoying going through this series it's just, it's a good time. It is a good time. And it's always like that fun, fluffy book that I need. The audiobooks are really great. All Most of our audiobooks are on Hoopla for me anyway. So check your Hoopla app just to kind of see if it's on there. I know everybody's Hoopla is a little bit different, but I have been finding them on Hoopla and that's really nice. So she does also sell them directly on her website if you're interested in like bundles and stuff to buy from her, but I have been finding them on Hoopla. So got that done. And I'm almost done with the Summer of Keeping Secrets. I'm like 85% in. So, yes. I'm probably going to give this four stars as well. Really enjoying all the revelations that's coming up here. I'm like, oh my goodness, the secrets are finally coming out. <laughs> okay. And, um, yeah, the, the st there's so much happening in this, like I already explained earlier in this video. So, yeah, I don't even know what to say other than the secrets are finally being revealed. The family is talking, the mom and the siblings, or mom and her kids, <laughs> they are, you know, working things out. And she's finally like discussing things with her kids of like what happened in the past as well with that man who died and all this stuff that they're like, her daughter was like, why did he die? Or in the, on the grandparents' property, what happened? You know, and it's like many years ago, all the things are being revealed and the stuff with, uh, Reed and his wife Lindsay that they've been going through some things are happening there it is like what and then <laughs> of course the girl Slade and she's like involved with Garrett's um son and so they're having like a their own little romance and then Garrett and um Marin Marin however you say her name again 
<laughs> we are, you know, been talking to as well. So, um, there's just a lot going on. So yeah, I'm probably going to four stars. I definitely recommend this so far. Uh, the last 10, 15%, I'll let you know my, my final, final thoughts, but yeah, I, I, I'm really enjoying this as a, it's a good, like overall story. So once I finish with that, I am planning on getting into a fish of fish out of water <laughs> dog, uh, by Savannah Scott. This is book two in the Love Trippin' series. Book four comes out June 28th, okay? And the cover reveal is coming. <laughs> so I will, um, once I kind of, I think my next clip, I'll talk about the cover reveal. They sent an email yesterday. I created some graphics for it, but I want to be able to read the synopsis whenever I show the cover in this video. So yeah, I'll just wait for that because I don't have that on hand. But um, yeah, I'm really, really, really excited about this. You can read it as a standalone, it said, but book four. But I really want to just try to like continue on in this series and get my like, get ready for this, <laughs> you know, in this setting and everything. So this one says, everyone loves Ben, every, everyone but me. Sure, when I saw him step off the ferry on the first day, I thought he was gorgeous. His must hair, light brown with blonde highlights, those brown eyes that are deceptively kind, the way his chiseled jawline, which gives his otherwise boyish face a manly edge. But then he opened his mouth and laid the cheesiest line on me. Every red flag and warning bell sounded in my brain. Steer, steer clear of the player. Uh-oh. Ben is like a sea otter, all cute and playful until he turns and charges you. Haven't you ever heard of a sea otter attack? Well, I'm sure it's a thing, and I'm not getting close enough to test that theory. Close to sea otters? Maybe. Close to Ben? No, thank you. And now, Ben seems to be everywhere I go. He's at the coffee shop when I get my morning latte. He's the one at the rental, rental shack when I take a kayak out to visit the locals on the north shore of the island. And now, he's going to be the male lead in the play that I'm in. The pirate to my mermaid. Ah! <laughs> Let's go! That is so cute. This whole video, really, I just put a random bookmark in here from the last book. Uh, I haven't started it yet, but this whole video is literally like romance. <laughs> well, I guess this other book's more like contemporary, but there is some romance in it. Summer Keeping Secrets is more like contemporary, um, but it does have like some romance right in it, but it's really more like a contemporary story, but it's like a good contemporary book, I guess. <laughs> Which actually, for our Christian book club, you know, Celestia did a really good video. This is probably a good time to talk about it. But Celestia did a really good video talking about, like, how we changed everything. And a lot of y'all have probably thought, like, where's that at? Celestia did a really great video just talking about, like, how we changed our Christian book club up to just be, like, genres for each month. And I know I mentioned that a while back. But, you know, we, um, I keep forgetting to, like, mention what the genre is now anymore just because, like, I'm so involved in everything else right now. This month was uh, reading either contemporary or um contemporary romance <laughs> so uh, i guess my main mine is going to be mandy blake that's my what i'm going to read or count for that prompt okay that's kind of what i figured i'd read um but i'll leave celestia's video down below it explains very well <laughs> how we changed everything in the christian book club to just be genre based and everything um that's the genre pick for this month is christian uh, contemporary or Christian contemporary romance. And so Mandy Blake's uh, what I read for that. So anyway, but yeah, I'm definitely going to get into the Savannah Scott book at some point. Okay. Uh, hopefully today. Hopefully I can start it today. Okay. I am reading all the romance for this video. <laughs> okay. I am back in a rom-com mood, you know, like I'm just in like a good romance mood. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, that's it for me. I'll update you guys. It might be Thursday. It might be Friday. Who knows? But this is pretty long enough where I've had a lot of chit chat anyway. So, oh, I got one more thing. One more thing. I just thought about it. So let me just say, if somebody, I wrote this in my community tab, but if somebody's tried to send me something from my wish list and, and I've not reached out to you and said, hey, thank you so much, that kind of thing, because I always say thank you to somebody who sends me something. I got this random, this is what I got in the mail. Look. This right here, this is the craziest thing. Got this in the mail. It's got two tracking numbers. One says, Amanda with my last initial. And like, that actually is what my wish list usually looks like. And I'm like, this is not for me. Because it's got another label that has like a Kentucky Bank Processing Center and it's got somebody's check in it. So like, the, the tracking, UPS couldn't even help me. So like, I can't even do nothing with this. But the tracking for this thing that has my name on it, UPS said it was two pounds. This was not two pounds. So I feel like somebody's tried to send me something and I didn't get it. So 
I just want to mention that here in the video. If you're watching this and you tried to send me something, let me know because I didn't get it. And I don't know if you can like what, do something with the order. <laughs> I don't know. Like I've not ordered anything that I didn't get, you know, from UPS. And because it has Amanda with my last initial, like my wish list says and how it's addressed, I'm like, this is from my wish list. So, but I just want to mention that because I feel bad. I'm like, if somebody tried to send me something, I don't want them to think I'm not thanking them. <laughs> like, I just, I don't. I'm not that person. I always want to make sure I say thank you and be very appreciative of those things. So, yeah. <laughs> I just want to mention that. And UPS, I went to the store. They couldn't help me. It was a whole thing. They were like, yeah, I can't help you, honey. You had to call this number. It was somebody's check, a business check. So, I'm probably just going to send a check back to them. I don't know <laughs> because... By the time it takes me to call somebody and figure it out, honey, I could have mailed it back <laughs> at this point. So, yeah, they couldn't help me with nothing else. It's just, it's unfortunate, but it's one of those things, one of those things. So, anyway, I uh, just want to mention that because I put it on my community tab, put it on Instagram, didn't hear anything, and I just want to mention that as, like, I've never had this happen, by the way. Uh, if you've had this happen, let me know. But UPS putting two labels on something that ain't even right. <laughs> I'm like... The person's check didn't get to the right place, and then something I had didn't get to me. So, UPS figured figure this out. This is usually a Bezos problem. <laughs> this is not usually a UPS. So, anyway, that's neither here nor there. Just want to mention that, and I will update you guys when I have more reading done, okay? All right, y'all. So, I finished reading. This is just literally, first of all, this is literally Drive with Amanda. <laughs> okay? Driving reading updates i hope that's okay because that's what we got capacity for this week okay <laughs> but sorry for the air conditioner it's loud but it's hot okay it is hot and humid here in tennessee so your girl's got it on full blast so finished reading the summer of keeping secrets by jill lynn and i've never read anything by this author if i haven't said that already it sounds like she has some other books like love inspired trade i don't know if i'm saying that right but i'll have to look into her other books because this was very impressive for me it was like surprising i really enjoyed it i'm not one to read a lot of contemporary women's fiction so you know this did have a little bit of romance but i categorize it mostly as contemporary women's fiction because it's got a lot more of that contemporary family drama secrets that kind of thing and reconciliation and grief journey all of that stuff but i really enjoyed this i get i'm gonna give it four stars uh i definitely think that this author has this writing style that makes you want to keep reading and you really just get involved with her characters like i was invested in the characters i really like their storylines i think there's like three storylines in this book and or maybe four i think three you know but might not be four <laughs> and i really enjoyed it i really enjoyed it you know i guess there really is like four because we've got Marin and her uh her past and her secrets her daughter's secrets her son's secrets and then there is kind of like a side mystery of this man who died on their grandparents or Marin's parents home many years ago so it's like all that stuff going on in this book okay so yeah you once you figure out kind of everything in the end it was really great ending you know it wasn't quite that five star for me but I still really enjoyed it highly recommend it you know uh content wise there was you know um let me think I just wrote my review so it's like fresh in my head but I mean is it gonna come out of my mouth I don't know <laughs> can I say the word can I say the word? Okay, we have got sexual harassment in the workplace mentioned. Uh, we have marital issues. There's some affair discussions. Uh, very, just not like heavy, heavy stuff. Like it's brief enough that's not going to be like a trigger, I think, for most people. But, you know, it's just very briefly mentioned personally. Um, it's not like in depth, but I just want to mention it for content purposes. Um, there is yoga in this book, but again, this is not a Christian book, so I'm not going dis to discount it for that. You know, I don't personally uh, like yoga in books. It's just something on my personal preference, but, you know, um, the context of it, it was fine. And their, you know, grief journey of losing a spouse and parents and going through their home and trying to just clean out their house and all the things and, and whatnot. So that's kind of what comes to my mind front and center as far as content. There's probably some other things. That I'm forgetting but I have a full review I will leave it down below that I've already written and everything so yeah I really appreciate
appreciative to this author for sending me this to read and review because, you know, this is like an author I never would have found had she not reached out on Instagram. So, yeah, I'm just so thankful she did. And now I have a new author that I can kind of keep on my radar for a future reads. And I, I just I think it was a great story. The re family reconciliation was really nice, you know, and just seeing the healing journey through this was good. And the family just really kind of came together and talked through things. They communicated, you know, like that was nice to see, you know, there wasn't all this back and forth fighting and stuff. Like you had a few moments, but like it was real and raw, honest moments. And I really appreciate that. So yeah, I highly recommend this book. Uh, it comes out in June. So I will leave it at the end of June, actually. Um, so I will leave it linked down below. Uh, at least I think it's the end of June. <laughs> is it June 20 something? I think it's June 25th, maybe. So, yeah, again, book's gonna be linked down below. Check it out if you're interested. Review and all that stuff is linked down below as well. So, what's next? Okay, so my girl Lindsay Lemus is gonna be picking up Serena Scott's book, second book in the series I talked to y'all about earlier Fish Out of Water. Okay, and so uh, later tonight or tomorrow, I will show y'all the cover for the next book fourth book in the series. I just want to read the synopsis, but, you know, we already read the synopsis for A Fish Out of Water, so she's going to read this as well, and she said, girl, I'll pick it up since you're going to be reading it, and I was like, okay. I said, but you know what? I'm probably going to need to go ahead and start it because Lindsay Lemus is the rom-com reading queen, <laughs> okay? She's going to be picking up Anna Conwell's new release, which is like a golf romance ASAP as soon as it releases. So, I <laughs> like, okay, girl, so I said, you go ahead I'll probably go ahead and start this because I'm going to do three days start because <laughs> she is the rom-com Kindle Unlimited reading queen, okay? But I'm going to start that physically, but I need an audiobook, right? I've always got to have an audiobook on deck, and I don't know what that's going to be. So, we'll let y'all know. I will let y'all know when, as soon as I figure that out. <laughs> so, yeah. Um. Other than that, I think that's about it for me. Just want to let y'all, I don't know, some final thoughts on that book and where I laid with it. So, look at your girl finishing two books this week. Love to see it. And I'm really just loving getting back into my physical reading era, <laughs> okay? I've been on audiobooks for so long and it's like constantly only reading audio. And there's just something about a physical book, an ebook, just physically reading the words for me that helps me connect a little bit more to the characters personally. So, yeah, I. I'm really just thankful that I've been able to like decompress a little bit and like prioritize my reading a little more and things like that. So yeah. And as far as Bible reading, I need to get back into Revelation a little bit more. And I don't want to read after this. I think I'm actually going to get back into the Gospels. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and start back into Matthew and go all the way through the Gospels just because it's been a while since I've done that. And I don't think I've ever fully finished reading the Gospels honestly. So, I know I've read a lot of it. It's just, I don't know that I've ever, like, start to finish. Have I done that? You know, um, I think I've read a lot of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. It's just, I don't know that I've read every single chapter in order. And so, um, yeah, I'm going to try to do that and then go into Acts. So, that's, that's my Bible reading plan that I really want to do um, over the next couple of months. And so, yeah, I really need to do another Bible study video. It's just been a while and I haven't had a chance to just kind of put anything together on that with everything else I've got going on. So I really want to try to prioritize that at some point this summer and do one of those. So, um, yeah, that's about it for me. I'll, it's like a seven or eight minute update. <laughs> so, yeah, I'll be you guys as soon as I have some more reading and stuff. But, yeah, whatever we can fit into for this week for the... <laughs> for the one hour mark is what we're doing <laughs> okay whatever i can get done before saturday is what's in this video so yeah but i'll update you guys later all right y'all good morning it is thursday morning and we are in hub's bedroom not bedroom <clears throat> all right y'all so we 
All right, y'all, we are back with an update, and I am in the Hubs gaming room for a minute before I have to go to work. So, it is Thursday morning, so it's Friday Eve. We'd love to see it. And I am wanting to share with you guys the cover for Resorting to Romance by Savannah Scott. This is book four in the Love Trippin' series. You can read it as a standalone. I always think series like this, the companion books are best read, you know, in order. So, I am going to try to read book two, like I said this week going into this weekend won't be done for this vlog of course but i'm gonna get a start on it okay before we end the vlog um but for book four okay this is a fake dating single mom sweet clean rom-com say less i absolutely love those tropes i love any kind of single mom single dad uh, trope and the fake dating is one of my favorites as well and this is like beachy theme we love to see it so look at the cover here the vibe okay the summer vibes of that this cover is giving is everything i need right now so loving that so let me just read you guys the synopsis okay it says my plate is full enough being a single mom and business owner i don't have time to date not even to fake it <laughs> i'm the only child of two three fairy godmothers yes you heard me right my somewhat crazy definitely over the top aunts all raised me and now i'm running the bed and breakfast i inherited from my grandmother while i raised my seven-year-old son Noah single-handedly. I probably hold the island record for most likely to turn down a date and le least likely to take a day off. So when Kai, the manager of the resort's water sports rentals, steps in pretending to be my boyfriend, I'm quite sure my jaw drops alongside everyone else's. <laughs> it's not the first time Kai comes to my rescue. But usually, he's doing things like fixing a leaky faucet or repairing a loose floorboard, not declaring his status as my boyfriend. With my ex, Noah's dad, back on the island, I honestly need an extra layer of insulation against any misguided thoughts he might have of the two of us ever getting back together. What can it hurt to let Kai play the role of a dotting boyfriend? Honey, we both know it's not real. Kai's just pitching in, being his usual protective, charming shelf. Self. Ugh, self. <laughs> I can't talk. Um, almost said shelf. I mean, really. <laughs> the trouble comes when we have to act on his declaration just to keep up exper experiences. Appearances. It's too early for this. <laughs> what started as a seemingly harmless declaration is quickly turning into a complicated charade as it usually does in these stories, right? How long can I resist his warm caramel gaze, the caring tone in his voice, or the way my body reacts when he innocently touches me? And when he takes care of my son, Noah, I'm basically a goner. Honey, the problem, I can't date Kai. And the longer we pretend we're more than friends, the more it's gonna hurt when I have to let him go. This synopsis. This synopsis, like this sounds like a book I'm gonna really enjoy. So I'm really excited about this. I do have an early copy to read this. So, you know, hopefully if I don't finish book three, it's fine. I'll just go straight into book four and just catch up on book three later. It's so definitely one I'm gonna be reading in June uh, since it releases on June 28th. So I'll leave the book link down below, but this is a closed door romance, clean, set in a small town, you know, and it's gonna have you laughing. I mean, her books make you laugh. So really excited about this. So. That's the synopsis. That's the update on that book, okay? Love to keep y'all updated on Savannah's books or Patty's book. <laughs> Patty's books. Patty's her real name. Her pen name is Savannah Scott, okay? So, yeah. And the next thing I want to share with you guys is I did start an audiobook. Remember, I told you I needed a new audiobook. And I was trying to look at my TBR, kind of see what's out there. Most everything on my TBR is literally a physical book, okay? No audio. But this one right here, Love Unscripted by Denise Hunter. Okay, this book, <laughs> I just started it on audiobook last night, and I'm really excited about it. I'm really enjoying it. I think this is going to be so much fun. Okay, we've got this girl, Chloe, and so she's wrote this book, and so they're supposed to be, like, making her book into a movie, and there's this guy, Liam. He comes in. He's supposed to be the main guy in her story, and she doesn't really, like, care for him because she thinks he's not really, like, the guy for her story, and so they've had, like, an awkward first meet, meet up. <laughs> Do you call it a meet cute? I don't know, but they... He, he like overheard her on the phone, speakerphone, talking bad about him. And then they have like this awkward run in, okay? And so he's like this, you know, Hollywood star. And she's like, I don't know about him, okay? But I've just gotten to the part where the PR, there's a PR plan that they want him to be, 
like with someone goes in the spotlight because he's getting a lot of bad press and so they're gonna have to have a fake date fake dating in this so yeah i'm really really excited about this to see where it goes it sounds like it's gonna be a good story i really liked her like one last year a uh, novel proposal and i think this is gonna be a fun summer read so this is just turning to like romance books okay i still feel like i'm gonna call this a romance vlog even though the summer keeping secrets wasn't necessarily fully romance it had some romance in it but uh, i'm still gonna say like reading romance <laughs> anyway that's about it for me i just wanted to do a quick update where i wasn't in the car more than anything <laughs> i don't even edited this video and it's already like 40 minutes so this is now gonna be like 45 so yeah this is just literally updates throughout the week and i have my video got today for the book tag that i did uh once upon another time book tag and i'm about to get ready to go to work and um yeah, we'll be doing a vlog this weekend. So this will come out on Saturday. You're watching this on a Saturday, okay? Uh, and so, yeah, the next video you see will probably be a reading vlog or like a weekend vlog with the hubs um, since we're going to see Lord of the Rings in theaters on Saturday. So, yeah, we'll be having some fun updates with the hubs on Monday. So, anyway, that's about it for me. And I will update you guys when I have more reading, okay? What up? <laughs> update for the vlog. All right. Hey, y'all. It is Friday night, and I am, we're, well, hold on one second. I am 50-something percent in on Love Unscripted, so I really want this video to come out tomorrow because your girl needs to clear up the footage on the phone. Might wait for the morning because tonight we're going to watch Star Wars Episode 3. Girl. <laughs> okay. So, waiting on the hubs to come back in here after he's done, like, checking his game in a minute, but... I'm still really enjoying this, all the good things, and I'll update y'all probably tomorrow. I don't know if I'll finish. It's definitely not going to be finished tonight, so, but we're going to watch the uh, episode three of Star Wars. Am I ready emotionally? I don't think so. I've watched episode one and two, and apparently I had never really seen them in full, and I, I love them. They are great. They are great. I used to be one who didn't like them. Yes, I love them now. What? Crazy. But I've been playing a little bit of Animal Crossing tonight as well. It is... <laughs> It's nine o'clock. It is, look at this blur on this camera. I'm sorry, y'all. Hold on. We back in business. So, my girl has this really cute outfit on, you guys. Okay, let, let's hope we don't see no scorpions. Um, first of all, I have like a Lord of the Rings uh, island a little bit. It's called the Shire. It's not Lord of the Rings island. I don't have a very good one, but I do have these like, look, my little flags on there on the, the lamp. Ain't that cute? And then over here, We've got the tree. Where is it? Oh my goodness. <laughs> tree of Gondor on the lamp, right? Love that. So anyway, but my girl, cute little outfit. I absolutely love this. Okay. But look, we've got shooting star night and I am just been sitting here kind of waiting on the shooting stars to come through because when you do that the next morning, they have all of the little star fragments and you can like craft different things and whatnot and like different recipes and things like that. Um, so, yeah, they, they're obviously not wanting to show up right now because I'm wanting to show y'all. Isn't that, isn't that how that goes? <laughs> but if you'll stay in here and wait, uh-oh, camera moving. If you stay here and wait, usually there'll be, like, some shooting stars and stuff. But for right now, they're not wanting to pop out for whatever reason. I've done, oh, look at Maple! Hey, girl! Hey, my girl, what's up? <laughs> she is, like, one of my favorite villagers, you guys. Oh my goodness. Hey girl. How you doing, honey? <laughs> What's the latest? She's drinking a lot of tea lately. If you're in the mood for iced tea, Earl Grey is her favorite. Citrus scent and a rich flavor. Yes, girl. Relax. You have some kind of presentation. Thank you so much, sister. Let me show y'all my new villager. Okay, look. Look. One of the one of the rhinos, he gone. Okay. So uh, his name was Hornsby. Uh oh, she's wanting to talk to me. Marina, do you want to? Uh oh, she's wanting to catch up at my place. Girl, I was going to show them my new villager. Hey, you interrupted. <laughs> do y'all believe this mess? <laughs> Hold on. Now I'm, I'm going to lose my little package too. Did y'all see that? There was a little package. Okay, let me come back here in just a minute after. I mean, look at, girl, always some villager wanting to go to your, your place and play a game and chill and whatnot. Now, I will say Marina is a very well-wanted villager as well. Okay, 
Oh, she got me a gift. Thank you, girl. What you giving me? Marina's photo. I've already got her photo. <laughs> Is it another photo? Thank you, sister, but I think I got it. Let's look. I'm pretty sure I've already got it. It's rude to redecorate when you have company. Okay, sister, I I'm pretty sure I've already got her picture. Okay, um, we're going to play. We're going to play. High card, low card. Okay, my arm's hurting holding this, y'all. This ain't good. I was going to show you my new villager. Zap suit. I don't really like the zap suits. They're okay. Yeah, I've got this little cloud floor, as you can see. Six. So, I would say that uh, it's probably going to be lower than six. The odds, are they in my favor? Come on. Oh, man. <laughs> she said, too bad, honey. You guessed wrong. You didn't win no prize. Thanks, girl. All right, girl, we gone. Let's get out of here. I'm done. Yep, I need to head out, girl. I got some stuff I got to show my people. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> she was like, we going to your place. But, like, is her picture something different? Let's go. Okay, we got all this time here. Trying to show. Uh, we're just waiting on the hubs. I think it's almost time for him to get back in here. Um, okay, let's hope no scorpions pop out because I'll be I'll be gone because I ain't got no net out or nothing. Okay, and I, I am getting really close to getting all my stuff done, like my um insects and fish and stuff. But I was looking at the catalog. Apparently, I never played this game in July because everything. Here's my new here's my new villager, dude. Okay, hey, come back here, come back. <laughs> Cephalobot. C Cephalobot. <laughs> I don't know what he's saying. Um, meteor shower. <laughs> he is so fun. So, I think he's cool. His whole house, I can't show you his house because he's out here. But it's like a space shuttle, basically. So, he's like C-3PO or something. That's what Blake called him. Look at him. What have you got yourself into? What's the latest? Fashion question for you. Yeah, my character's name's Kari. That's the name I use for like all my games. Maybe you can explain something. I like pants too. Sometimes they're too long. I hate walking on the heels. <laughs> I cannot. What if I just wore pants the exact length of my legs? The sacrifices I have to make for fashion. All right. Well, that's my new villager, okay? I decided to get rid of one of them. Um, I'm leaving these turnips here so that they can rot so that I can actually like get an ant because I don't have an ant in my insect list. Apparently that's like a year round, but apparently I've never played this in July. That's what I was trying to say. And let's go in here and see Cobb for a second. He's hilarious. He's a pig that's always been crazy. We are sitting here six minutes on Animal Crossing. Was there another clip? Oh yeah, there was. Maybe 10 minutes. I ain't got that much time. Okay. I need to redo his house. He is always, he's a jock character, and so he's always talking about his abs. Uh, his name is Cobb, like Cobb Salad, what? And he's a pig. If you need to work out, drop by my place. Doesn't matter if it's leg day, arm day, or neck day. I welcome you with sore arms, hot dog. And hot dog is his saying. He got back there with pre-workout stuff. <laughs> The pig. So every time I, I Cobb's talking about working out stuff in the pigs, I'm always sending it to Chrissy because reasons. So anyway, Marina's house. She's already giving me her pictures. So do they give you different pictures? I'm learning this. Okay, look, I've already got her picture. Okay, let's see what this does. What exactly is going on with this picture? It's the same picture. Girl, I think I mean she gave me two of her pictures. I didn't know that was a thing. Anyway, there's some people's uh, pictures I don't have. So, okay, we've spent 10 minutes on Animal Crossing. I'm sorry, y'all. But, I <laughs> Fauna, she's another well-wanted vill villager. She is so cute. I really worked hard to get her. She almost didn't come to my island, you guys. It, it was a whole thing. Okay, she's talking about clothes. Anyway, let's see if them, uh, Things are back. Um, yeah. The shooting stars have this. Ah, oh, there they are! Yay! Okay, that's kind of what you do. 
that's about it on the Animal Crossing updates. I will update you guys tomorrow with my final updates on this book, okay? Good morning, my friends. It's Saturday morning, okay? Want to give an in ending update for this vlog. I have not finished Denise Hunter's book, Love Unscripted, but it will be up in the next update for the next vlog, okay? I'm really enjoying it. Probably gonna get four stars, 75% in. And, uh, you know, I'm really liking the fake dating is finally like they're starting to realize feelings and things. I always love that part when that stuff starts to take a turn. So yeah, more updates to come on that in the next vlog. And then I did start A Fish Out of Water. I'm on like was it chapter six? Yeah, I got to chapter six, about 50 pages in, and really enjoying the setting and the characters. Again, just loving being back in this uh, world. I guess it's not world, but in this setting and these characters and just the cuteness of the beach and all the things. I'm loving this. So in this week, it's like an enemies to lovers because the girl, she is like not wanting to like Ben. Everybody likes Ben except her. It's what it says in the synopsis. And so she thinks he's like this player guy and all this stuff. But I haven't really got to like the plot yet because it says on the back that, that he's going to be the male lead in the play that she's in and it's the he's gonna be the pirate to her mermaid so I'm ready for that <laughs> so yeah hopefully I get to that part at some point this weekend I'm definitely gonna be reading this my girl Lindsay Loomis is also gonna be picking it up at some point so I can chat about it with her as well so looking forward to this looking forward to finishing that I also uh I, I can't remember the author's names fully so forgive me but I also started a new middle grade and it's called the Cookie Crumbles, and it's by Tracy Badu and Alicia Dow, <laughs> okay? I think I'm saying that correctly. I don't have my tablets and stuff in front of me to remember exactly how you pronounce the names or anything like that, but this one sounds so cute. I got, I don't know how far I got, chapter three or four so far in this, and I am actually really enjoying it so far. More thoughts to come, of course, in the next vlog because I really need to finish it this weekend. It releases next week on Tuesday, June 11th, and so I want to have my review and all of that stuff done, and uh, I already done like a really cute graphic for it in preparing for the review, so I'm hoping that I really enjoy it. Uh, so far, I am and just three chapters in, like I said, and it is super cute. We've got these two girls that are best friends. I love a good best friend story. It's one we have, um, I can't remember their names, Lucy and I want to say Layla. Maybe that's it. But they are best friends and one of the girls is uh, in a baking competition and the other girl is like in a is doing like a journalism thing and she's working for this scholarship to try to get into this place. And so she's just along for the ride to write all about the competition and stuff. And they say it's kind of like you know, Great British Bake Off meets Knives Out. And so far, you know, we're just kind of getting to know the characters and getting to see them go to this competition and everything. And they're eight, they're in eighth grade. And so um, she's really excited about it. You know, she's really hoping that she can win for the money and everything. The main girl is uh, who does the baking. And then same thing goes for our girl needing the scholarship because she cannot afford, her family cannot afford for her to go there either. So she's wanting to win the journalism award and everything there. So super cute the twist on this book is it's gonna have like a murder mystery okay that's why I'm really intrigued about it because we've got these two girls doing all this and in the very beginning there was like a letter that said something about uh somebody's cookie kill somebody what <laughs> so we gotta have a murder mystery and so I'm really excited you can kind of tell from the cover it's kind of like murder mystery cozy mystery type stuff so I'm sure it'd be cozy more than anything um so really excited about that so yeah I'll keep you updated more so on that in the next vlog just to kind of see you know uh how this goes and everything so so far three chapters in I'm in, I'm, in, I'm enjoying it okay if thoughts change I'll let you know but yeah that's what I plan on reading this weekend actually is a fish out of water that's priority and of course I'm going to definitely finish, um, today I'm going to finish Love Unscripted and then, um, the cookie crumbles. <laughs> so that's kind of my updates for the reading. I hope you enjoyed the Animal Crossing content and just all these updates. I'm going to start a new vlog, like I said, with the hubs. I'm going to try to get this uploaded and everything ASAP. Just finished the thumbnail. So yeah, just trying to get this footage off my phone and whatnot. Um, also we really enjoyed Star Wars episode three last night, y'all. I was up to midnight watching that. Honey, it's like eight o'clock right now, so I got to get going. But wow, like that whole series Oh my gosh, like it really makes me realize how much I love the the 90s and early 2000s tr uh, trilogy. The story of Darth Vader and everything was just, 
Wow. And I was giving updates to Chrissy, Lindsay, and Sky, like letting them know all my thoughts, honey. Girls, I was like, girls, reaction city. It was wild. And I was crying by the end of it. It was really great. So, yeah. So today we're actually going to go see the Lord of the Rings, Fellowship of the Ring movie to, uh, to this evening or this afternoon. And uh, again, this is like real time Saturday. So you're getting a real time update. <laughs> so anyway, that's it for me. I hope that y'all enjoyed this vlog. Let's chat below down in the comments as always. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye, y'all.